Ladies and gentlemen, in this Red Game in Tech.com video, I'm going to be telling you about the new deals which are going to be available until the 10th of December, which is the Big Picture Celebration Sale on, of course, Steam. There's actually really good deals on this one, and quite a few of them, actually, when it comes down to it. Uh, obviously, we've got the Christmas sale coming up, but still, there's some really good deals on here, and of course, even if you are not giving a toot about playing on a controller it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the deals and indeed some of them I'd argue probably best not to play on a controller. I'm going to be giving you a list of my absolute top picks because there are so many games I could be here for quite a while um, so I'm just going to go through my personal favorites on this list. First one I've mentioned before a couple of times Alan Wake. I really like this video, uh, video game and I personally think it's a better deal than American Nightmare if you've not got both. Um, I originally used to think that American Nightmare was as good a game, but having done my Let's Play quite substantially, I'm actually disagreeing with myself. I, I take that opinion back, and I actually think that Alan Wake is a better written game. And I also don't like the, wa the way that in American Nightmare you have to keep going back to certain areas. Um, it's not a travesty of a game, it's actually really good, and I'd still recommend you pick it up if you happen to have played the original Alan Wake. But other than that, yeah, I personally would recommend uh, the original if you're interested in buying Alan Wake. Counter-Strike Go, I don't really need to say much about this one. I don't like everything they did with the global offensive version. It's not to say that it's bad or anything like that. But, you know what, I'd probably tell you that Counter-Strike Source slash 1.6 are truer Counter-Strike games in some ways. But I still really like uh, Global Offensive and it has done some really cool things and introduced some very interesting weapons. And I do really like some of the map changes as well. They've somewhat more balanced things out. Um, I can't speak for every map. Uh, I only played the beta. If you want some more coverage of that, you should check out the videos on RGT. Anyway, Space Marines. <clears throat> um, it's a really good game, and I've mentioned before that it's one of those titles you actually feel really powerful. You know, like in, oh, let's go with God of War, that you actually feel powerful when you're playing as Kratos. You're not actually feeling like a little bug that's kind of chipping away at the enemy's health by like, chip, 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 chip. And eventually they fall over. No, on with Space Marines you actually feel powerful. It has a few issues. It's not the greatest in terms of you know writing or anything. It's you know very cliche in some aspects, but you know what? It works, and the voice acting is pretty good as well. Graphically, it's not too bad either. So I'd recommend Space Marines. The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I could recommend this title if only if you're a Spider-Man. You know, fan, you're gonna really like it. It's not a terrible title. It's only 50% off, which you know still makes it reasonable. Uh, yeah, I I quite like it. It's probably one of the better film movie t game ties in, but it's pretty decent. Orcs Must Die 2. I've said this many times before. I think many of you are gonna know what you're gonna be getting with this one. I personally, I was surprised that I liked it. I didn't think I would. Um, whether you want to pick it up or not, up to you. I personally would recommend it, but, you know, it's a very good price. Portal 2, I'm not even going to bother to mention Portal 2. I think too many people know about it anyway. Deadlight, um, this is actually one of my picks of the day. Um, it's not the cheapest it probably could be. I wouldn't be surprised if we see 50% off at Christmas. Nevertheless, it's a very good title and really utilizes the Unreal Engine just exceptionally well, actually. Um, there's not much more to say about it other than check out the RGT video. Rocket Birds. Rocket Birds Hard Boiled Chicken. Hmm. I mentioned this title because it's a very interesting concept, but it has some uh, bugs or, shall I say, annoyances in it that I, I just couldn't really get into. It's a good title if you're into those type of games. For the price, it actually makes it a much more compelling buy. Whether that's enough for you to pick up or not, it's up to you. I'd recommend you check out a video on my channel. I couldn't make my mind up if I really liked the if I liked the game or I was kind of on the fence with it a lot of the way through. It 
felt a little bit forced in some areas and the sense of humour wasn't really my cup of tea. However, Cien Mora, this was an amazing title. I, I really liked it. It was definitely one of my picks. For £2.71, it's an absolute ridiculously good deal. I highly recommend picking it up if you're a fan of like the R types or you know those type of games from back in the day. It has an insane amount of stuff on screen at once if you're into that type of thing. And I have a feeling on later levels, I haven't played too much of it, it could get really difficult. It definitely is also really good on controller. Magicka, I personally would disagree with the fact that they say this is good for controller. I would actually say that this is a bad game to play on controller. I'd also say the same, by the way, for Left 4 Dead. I'm not even going to bother to mention that because I think too many people know about it. Magicka the same thing, although I just would like to point out I don't really agree with the fact it's controller enabled um, as a standard. I would say that you know, you're going to be much better playing that with keyboard and mouse. That's just my personal opinion on playing it. I've already mentioned American Nightmare. Shank 2 I'd recommend you check out the video for. I quite like it. I really like the art style and direction. It's also ridiculously fun to combo people. Um, I tell you what game I'd really like to see remade actually. Just thinking about comboing people like that and that is Guardian Heroes on the Sega Saturn. Obviously there was a re-release on Xbox Live. I don't think it was ever ported to PC much to my um, sadness but nevertheless you get the idea. Uh, Limbo, I don't really need to say much about this one. Really good game. I would recommend it. I've met, I've recommended it a dozen times over by now and I will continue to recommend the darn thing. Tiny and Big. I've done a video on this one. I would recommend checking it out if you're a fan of weird ass humour and kind of a platform element. I'm not going to give this one a wholehearted recommendation. It's a bit of an oddball. Um, it does have some odd characteristics and I would recommend checking out the video as it, it kind of has to be seen to be understood what I mean by odd. However, one title that I would really recommend is Hell Yeah. Hell Yeah is an amazingly fun title. It has good sense of humour, the graphics are beautiful, the sound is awesome, especially if you're into metal and rock, and if not, you should be. And it's just fun. On a serious note, I'd recommend the title. It's just really cool, and it's just zany and fun. It really reminds me of the old kind of title for the Genesis but done in a much, much more updated way. And it just works on every level. It's not without faults. It has, you know, a few odd moments here and there, but generally speaking, I'd recommend it, and it would be one of my picks, actually, for the indie titles of this year. Next one, A Mark of the Ninja. They've actually said in their quotes for various game publishers, I don't remember which, um, who actually said it, um, they said this is how all stealth games should be. I partially partially would agree with that. It does have a few oddities in the way it controls. It... How could I put this in a very simple way that people could understand? It it almost controls too smoothly. And by that, it almost feels like the things you do are so effortless, you're actually putting in too much effort. And therefore, at the start, you kind of mess up a little bit. I know that doesn't really make sense, but you'll kind of get the idea when you're playing it. I would recommend you check out the RGT video for this one. Um, it's a really good game, though. Uh, I have a feeling it will be, again, cheaper on the Christmas sale, but don't quote me on that. So you might want to pick it up. Hey, even if it goes down to 50% off, it's only going to save you, you know, a couple of pounds or whatever it will be in your, you know, currency. Geometry Wars. This is 75 pence. I only recommend getting this one if you've got, uh, well, masochistic tendencies. This is one of those titles where, when it was released back in the day on the Xbox 360, I, I'll be honest, I, I don't think many games have made me that angry. <laughs> I uh, There was one particular time that I was going for a high score and I almost beat my old, old high score and I was just getting into the, the rage. I don't remember what it was. It was a million and something. I, I It was a long time ago. 
but I, I, I literally was so angry I had to just turn the console off in pure disgust but it's a really fun game at the same time so it could be worth it and I've also mentioned Sonic Generations before in fact we actually gave that away actually uh, I can't remember when but a while ago on RGT for I believe our 250th subscriber anyway um, it's a really good title and I mentioned before that it is literally a love letter to Sonic fans it's as I've said, um, in actually the Christmas sale, it Sega knows they've abused Sonic. They've, you know, they keep taking him out to the woodshed and they keep, you know, beating on him. And we're, you know, the fans of Sonic saying, "Please, Sega, please just leave him alone. He's had enough. He, he's, he, you know, he's no longer the hedgehog you remember. He's abused. Just, just let him out of the relationship." And they're like, "No," and they're taking him back to the woodshed again. They actually gave him a bone on this title, as I've said before, and it's a good game. It, I, I can honestly say the 2D and 3D sections are good, um, which is, <laughs> for me to say that about Sonic games, to say the 3D sections I actually enjoyed them is pretty impressive. I, I, I really hated Sonic Adventure One and Two. I know that you know people don't like the fact that I you know don't like it but you know them's the breaks I I really didn't like the way it controlled I just hated the camera I hated everything but this actually worked well um so yeah anyway uh, I think that's just about all of them I probably be missing a couple but to go through my overall list of the titles I would recommend uh, just to cut it short I'd recommend Alan Wake not so much American Nightmare but still Counter-Strike possibly Amazing Spider-Man is a fun game. Space Marines is actually cool. Um, Deadlight, I'd highly recommend that. Cien Mora, definitely recommend that. And I'd probably go ahead and say Mark of the Ninja as well, and hell yeah. So anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, and I will see you around soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.